Jellyfish are immortal gods. They're also floating, stinging sea umbrellas. But today, our focus is on the immortal part. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. From vampire novels to Greek myths to comic book heroes, immortality is one of those fictional superpowers that humans fantasize about. But it's just that, fiction, right? For humans, yes. For jellyfish, not so much. Let me explain. In 1988, a German marine biology student was collecting small invertebrates for his research on hydrozoans in the Italian Riviera. <laughs> Side note, I officially volunteer to do all the science that's happening in the Italian Riviera. Every morning, this biology student collected hundreds of hydrozoans, and in that collection was one hydrozoan in particular, called Turritopsis dorni, or as it's known today as the immortal jellyfish. After several days of keeping his hydrozoans in petri dishes, he noticed that the Turritopsis dorni was doing something truly wild. It refused to die. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, you heard that right. In fact, the jellyfish didn't just refuse to die. It was actually aging backwards from its current life stage as a full-grown medusa to its earliest life stage, a baby polyp, which basically throws the fundamental law of the natural world out the window. So what is actually going on? When the immortal jellyfish dies, it sinks to the ocean floor and begins to decay. Amazingly, its cells then re-aggregate, not into a new medusa, the pretty jellyfish we all know and love, but into polyps. And from these polyps emerge new jellyfish. The jellyfish has skipped back to an earlier life stage to begin again. No word on if they had to do jellyfish middle school again. So, is the secret to life as immortal humans found in these jellyfish? Not quite. Scientists say they can't see any link currently between jellyfish immortality and our own. But who knows what the future will bring? Maybe with a few jellyfish genes, we humans could turn clear, grow stingy tentacles and start getting attacked by sea turtles. Hey, at least we'd still be young. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.